Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Ken here back with another episode of the Minecraft Skyblock series here on the Archon Origins Realm. If you guys want to go ahead and check out the server, make sure to go on candy.archonhq.net and use code candy on Archon's Bycraft for a free first rank on any realm. So guys, this is episode two of our default series where essentially me, Royal, and everyone else on our island has like no ranks. We don't have our partner rank, we don't have our partner kits, and we basically we don't have slash fly either except for obviously this area here which is like free fly for everyone but if you go back to the slash is go and we try doing a little fly you do not have access to that command so it's a little bit tricky but we've been putting in some work off camera if we take a look at my pv1 and my inventory they're both pretty much almost filled up with fish and i think if we go to slash fish right now and sell all of this we should actually be able to go and go to the next lake as well as buy the next Next level of rod which is the Adamus rod I bought the older rod I've used swamp bait and I've caught herring krill and fish all we need to do right now is get up to two million dollars I'm literally about like eight thousand dollars short so let's go ahead sell our fish for mob coins there we go 1200 mob coins easy peasy and then sell our fish in here for eight hundred and thirty six thousand that is pretty sick we also still have a ton of fish in our PV as well that we can go ahead and grab sell this and then maybe we should be somewhere up to like four or five million let's see so if we sell this we sold another almost one million worth of mob coins or one million worth of money sorry and then if we sell our last amount of fish we made another five hundred thousand bringing us up to a grand total of 4.3 million okay cool so now what we need to do is actually go and buy ourselves oh and a tier one money pouch that's pretty good we need to go buy ourselves the next rod the novice rod so boom there we go we've upgraded from the old rod to the novice rod now instead of taking 15 to 25 seconds to catch a fish now it takes between 10 and 20 seconds so literally like a 30 percent reduction the route that we need to get next however is the apprentice rod and this one's gonna be a little bit hard because we actually need to go to the next lake for that and if we do slash lakes and we try and unlock the swamp one it says i still need four hundred and fifty four thousand dollars, sixteen thousand mob coins and i still need to catch six different eels so we're gonna go ahead probably start going and fishing up the eels and then find a way how we can make 16,000 mob coins because as we fish money should be pretty easy but we don't necessarily have a really good mob grinder yet for mob coins okay so after a good like 15 minutes of fishing we actually have gotten enough of the eels and we have more than three million dollars now we need to go and i think we need to get like 13,000 mob coins yeah we need to get 13,107 mob coins and i figure the best way we do that is by using the mob coin bait because for example whenever we fish up a stingray this gives us like 290 mob coins eels give like 300 365 stingrays give 471 so we really only need to probably catch like a full inventory of fish which should be enough with this 32 mob coin baits okay basically full inventory of fish 6645 mob coins okay 8000 actually let's do slash lake are we close i think we got to be close okay 3500 more to go our last set of mob coins 6000 okay i got a ton of money fish hopefully this is enough we got 1500 mob coins and then almost half a million worth of fish okay let's do slash lake right now and i swear if it tells me that we don't have enough we have just first access to the swamp okay let's go perfect perfect so now we have the novice rod and we are at the pretty cool swamp okay so the first thing we should probably do while we are over here is actually go and buy some of the swamp but let's go and buy and let's go buy 32 of it and we should be good and what are the requirements for the next lake so to get to the next lake we're gonna need seven 7.5 million dollars 62 and a half thousand mob coins a bunch of fish uh that we have never caught yet and then i think for the next rod the apprentice rod we're gonna need to use 40 swamp bait which we should do relatively soon we need to catch tuna and salmon and i think with the novice rod we can catch salmon also catch tuna right at the bottom over there so with uh with this we should be good to go okay i just got my last fish of our first session here at the swamp let's see if we can make a cool one million million dollars hopefully okay 1400 mob coins that's not bad we're gonna need a lot of mob coins right now though and about seven hundred and sixty five thousand dollars worth of fish honestly a little bit less than the one million i was expecting but then again we didn't really get any of the super high fish i believe that you can get like catfish and uh gars over here and those are the ones that sell for a ton of money but boys right now i think that's enough of the fishing we got 
gotta go to the IS home and then figure out what we want to do with the island because right now we're like only getting money just from fishing we don't really have any other active sources of income like we don't have a sugarcane farm we don't have any spawners placed down even though if we do slash IS vault right now I believe we have a couple we have some chickens you have some endermans we have some blazes evokers and IGs but obviously none of these are placed down right now so what I think we're gonna start doing is start working on some sort of sugarcane farm it appears that they started working on one over there but uh nothing exactly got completed because this whole bottom part underneath me is void and since you don't have access to slash fly we're gonna need to go to the mob coin shop and buy ourselves one hour of fly for 5,000 mob coins we can technically buy like two hours since we have 14,000 but I think we're only gonna spend about an hour to do it so there we go if we do slash fly right now we have fly for like 59 and a half minutes now okay I actually got a little bit scared because I thought we didn't have a stacker one but nope thankfully someone on the island got one now we should probably go buy ourselves a ton of dirt maybe like maybe like close to a full inventory and uh nine stacks should be enough for the beginning and then let's do slash chunks and figure out where exactly do we want to do this so technically we could do it right here but this feels way too close to the main island and uh we should probably go a little bit further out so let's start building right on the side over here and then figure out how far along can we build that way it's like not too close to the main island okay so right here is the last block now we are at y132 so let's go down to y0 and then start there okay so this is kind of the basics uh the chunk ends over here but obviously since this is a 10 block we kind of have to go 20 blocks across so i don't have to manual place it but the way it's going to work is that the water's going to be here and basically in the spots where there's like not this little outline area so all we got to do now is just place dirt basically with our stacker wand and uh continue this all the way up to y256 okay we finally finished that my hour is almost up though and i kind of want to save my tokens just in case something else really important happens so i think we're gonna let the rest of the island members work on this hurricane farm so let's go back to slash is go and then uh figure out what we need to do over here i think one thing we probably should work on is the island totem so for those of you guys that don't know what an island totem is it is a really 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 op item that if you can go and basically complete seven different challenges over seven different days it gives you a really good boost so for example you can get a 1.2 times spawner boost which is great for really late game a 1.3x mcmmo booster 1.3x xp booster and a 1.2x hopper booster as well as a crop growth booster which is really good if you have a massive sugarcane farm like the one we are trying to build down over there so let's see what the first challenge is that we need to go ahead and do so generate your next challenge by clicking here we need to go and place 715 emerald blocks this one is actually pretty easy it kind of just depends on how expensive an emerald block is obviously if you do slash bow right now we are not the richest guys on the server we've got around literally a million dollars so if we do slash shop and see how much an emerald block is okay wait a second that's actually kind of expensive 54,000. i think nine stacks should be around 540 and yeah boys <laughs> we're not doing this challenge that's 31 million dollars yo i didn't even realize this but we actually have like 64 blaze spawners over here 64 blaze spawners over here and uh you know just a casual 5,000 stack of blazes chilling on right here and you guys might be wondering why am i sitting here and uh killing these blazes instead of going and building the rest of the sugarcane farm over there and that is because if we do slash ah right now and we uh well first of all let's do slash xp right now we have 164,000 xp and if we do slash ah and then we look at how much xp is being sold for 1 million xp is being sold right now for over 25 million dollars that is a lot of money that we obviously really really need right now so what i think i'm gonna do is sit here grind a ton of these blazes see if we can get to maybe how much xp are we at 100 64,000 see if we can get up to like 200,000 and then try and sell our XP and see if we can make maybe like I don't know two three five million dollars we actually got a stack smasher book in here too that we can go and add it to our sword right now which is smite 4 it doesn't have any looting which kind of sucks uh but obviously we got to take what we can get so let's do slash anvil really quick oh my god we actually don't have access to that okay we need to go ahead hit up spawn and try and find ourselves an anvil there's got to be some around here there we go here's an anvil let's go take our sword let's add stack smasher 2 onto it it's gonna cost us 13 levels slash is 
go and see if we can get uh, all of these things killed out. So there we go. A stack of 10,000. Holy crap. And every time we stack smash this, our XP should go up a ton. So let's kill the rest of the stack over here before entities clear. 900. And then let's kill the stack of 1,000 and see how much XP we are going to be at. So if we do slash XP right now, we're up to 275,000. Damn, we just literally went up 100,000 XP just right off of that. So let's do uh, quick slash sell all or oh my god we actually don't have access to slash sell all either oh my god i think the way we have to do it is go to slash shop dude playing as a default actually kind of sucks and then i think we can mouse button middle to sell all we just made thirty-one thousand dollars. damn that is so bad and we can actually go and do slash bottle 250k right now so now we have a bottle of 250 000 xp we do slash ah i think we want to go list this thing for probably 10 million dollars so let's do slash ah uh, and then 10 M and now we've just listed our bottle of XP for $10 million. Hopefully someone buys it. In fact, let's do uh, selling 250 K XP for 10 mil. Someone buy it. Let's go. We sold our bottle for $10 million. We are rich as hell now. I'm just kidding. If you do a slash bell top or slash bell top, this guy literally has 6.5 billion, but Hey, we are at least richer than we were beforehand. And now I think we should, we still, don't even have enough money to buy all of the emerald blocks but at this rate oh no entities cleared but at this rate we should at least be able to keep selling xp and if we do slash xp right now we are up to 153,000, so about a hundred thousand away from another 10 million dollars yo i legitimately don't know why we never did this beforehand but we are already up to 21 million and if we do slash ah we have another listing in here for another 250,000 xp bottle for another 10 million dollars so honestly we might get up to like 50 million before this day is over yo my boy pikachu's epic just bought my 250,000 xp for another 10 million dollars bringing us up to a grand total of 31 million four hundred thousand dollars we can technically go and i think buy a stack of the emerald blocks right now to work on our island totem but i think our money is best used elsewhere if we do slash shop and we try and buy some spawners we can technically go buy a a couple of the sheep spawners pig spawners and chicken spawners but because our island has actually unlocked most of these i think we can go and actually buy ourselves some igs well we can go and i should say we can go and buy one ig because a single ig is literally 22 million dollars but i'm happy that at least one of our island members went and unlocked all of those for us but before we go and spend all this money i'm gonna wait and see what the island members want to do with it because for example they might want to go spend all of that on shuriken in case shuriken is really really expensive this season or maybe they literally need it for things like dirt so i'm gonna go contact them see what they want and that's gonna be it with this episode boys if you did enjoy make sure to subscribe like and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out